Good afternoon. It is March 1st, about 1.30 in the afternoon. It's been sunny and windy all day. So I definitely <laughs> don't need any extra power, but it was a good opportunity for me to finally get to some upgrades and repairs on the DC generator. I added a new muffler. This is actually a factory muffler that comes on a Harbor Freight Predator generator. And then I mocked up a pipe. to get to the engine um, just out of various pieces that I had in the basement and welded the crap out of it made sure it was all airtight and sanded her down best I could and whatever it's uh, it doesn't need to be beautiful um, and then the box was actually vibrating a lot when I first built this I had pretty minimal extra parts and lumber laying around so I, I didn't have the tops of these front and back panels uh, framed in so the plywood just vibrated um, and that caused a lot of extra noise so I framed that in, screwed that all down tight, added a couple new screws at the bottom, <clears throat> gave it all a new fresh coat of paint added some new weather stripping and then I made a new lid because the other one uh, I had the muffler coming out the top and that was cut out there so this is a half inch MDF with this is asphalted uh, flashing basically for like uh, you know the roof valleys but it covers it up real nice and then I wrapped it over, stapled it and you know uh, seamed it up real nice and tight. Um, added some new hinges so the door doesn't wobble so bad and then I swapped over my uh, foam to that one to try and deaden sound even more. So big goal with all this was basically to make it a little prettier and make it a lot quieter and I definitely accomplished that uh, so let's give her a tug it's always kind of hard to do with the phone oh come on huh. helps if you turn the kill switch on there she goes. Yeah, that is way quieter now. Mechanically, there's nothing new. Uh, I've never had any problems with this dual core PMA. That thing is just awesome from Thermodyne. Chucks tons of power. It's throttled all the way down right now, so it's probably only putting in three or four hundred watts right now. When the motor gets warm enough, the fans in the front and back kick on, and that keeps the PMA nice and cool. And that keeps the engine nice and cool, and then there's vents both sides with the hot air in this case. Yeah, pretty damn nice, huh? Very happy with it. Just blowing a tiny bit of smoke because I actually threw uh, a little bit of two cycle oil in the gas. I like to do that, you know, they put 
thinking ethanol and everything these days and the engines don't like them so I I add just a little bit of two cycle and uh, I like to think that that counteracts that alcohol that they throw in there that'll help you know keep my upper cylinder lubricated and yeah it might burn out plugs a little faster than normal but plugs are cheap cheaper than motors so my batteries are already full but uh, I kicked some stuff on inside and we'll go we'll go take a peek at it from the inside uh, just in case you haven't seen the prior videos of this generator this thing is an absolute powerhouse so see the fan just kicked on there she goes so yeah let's go see it making some watts real quick I'm gonna have to do it really fast so because I don't want to overcharge my batteries all right be back in a sec okay and So yeah, it's throttled all the way down, just barely making something, and I got my throttle right here, I can crank her up, um, batteries have already filled up and floated down, solar has floated down to 175, it's holding me at about 27.6 or so. So I'm going to have to be real quick with the throttle here so I don't uh, foam the batteries. I'm going to just crank her up real quick so you can see it makes some power. <laughs> okay, well I only got her to about down, down, down. All right. I only got her to about 2200 watts there, but it will go up and over 3000. I didn't want to I didn't want to crank her full nuts cuz that would have foamed my batteries. Just that instantaneous bit of power brought me up to 31 volts and that's over equalizing voltage, but so yeah, PMA feed comes in to Three phase rectifier. This is a 300 amp solid state rectifier on a nice big heat sink with 210, or no, this is a 120 millimeter computer fan drawing the heat off of it. And then there's a four inch hole on this board. So it, I got this spaced so it can blow that warm air at the concrete wall and, uh, it does a great job of keeping that rectifier cool. Uh, even the rectifiers for my turbines got cooling fans. When this gets up to 27 degrees Celsius, kicks them on. They glow nice and pretty blue like the meters. They're not doing a lot, but they're doing something. So, anyhow, just a quick update. On that monster, I've had a bunch of people asking me about this meter. Um, the Amazon link is dead. So uh, I'll look that up tonight. You can still get it on AliExpress. Um, I'll find it and link it because I've had a bunch of questions about it. Um, it's actually a pretty awesome meter. It's got everything on there, you know, it's got my live streaming volts, amps, watts, accumulated kilowatt hours, accumulated watt or amp hours, uh, its internal temperature, and then uh, <laughs> not really a necessary feature, but it's kind of cool. You can uh, go through the settings and uh, type in your local electricity cost. Um, so whatever we uh, in Green Bay we pay uh, 11 cents roughly per kilowatt hour so um, <laughs> my uh, $700 generator has saved me $41.67 so far but 
that's not the point. Generated electricity is not the point. And I've had this argument with uh, a couple of people, you know, oh, geez, you spend all that money for $10 worth of electricity. Well, eh, not really. No, I haven't had a power bill since 2017. And, you know, um, I've got two grand invested in batteries. So, you know, the solar, the turbines, and the generator, um, that keeps my batteries from dying. That keeps them in good condition. Um, I have yet to cycle these. I've kept these above 25 volts since they were installed. Um, and, you know, if we really wanted to add up kilowatt hours, um, you know, since I actually reset this guy in July, but, you know, that's made an accumulated 1,988 kilowatt hours since July. Um, I reset this meter often, uh, basically every time it gets to 10, um, then it blips over and it just counts up the kilowatt hour one at a time. Right now it's, it's watt hours and I like to keep a more accurate record of it and I do write it down every time I uh, reset it, date it and, um, and what it was at when I reset it so I could go through and figure out what I've actually made in electricity over you know the course of well, going on five years uh, but I know before I went off grid, before I produced my own electricity, um, I was spending $3,500 a year on heat and electricity. I got rid of gas. I called up WPS, said, turn me off uh, gas and electricity. Um, I'm going to provide it myself. There is not a monopoly in Wisconsin yet. So, I'm 100% off grid. This feeds to my house panel and this runs everything. You know, I got a fab shop. I was just welding, uh, you know, uh, washer and dryer. I got a deep freeze in the room over there. We got a normal uh, size refrigerator upstairs. I got a normal dishwasher, TV, flip on a light switch, light turns on, you know, it's just a normal house. This feeds all of it. This is 100% of our power and we don't run out. So, and then we heat with wood. So, you know, whatever. People would argue about money spent and money saved. We save. So, anyhow, that's that. Thanks for watching.